Chaos erupted yesterday in Koreatown after two dueling protests clashed over SPA's policy to accept transgender customers. A protester was shot at close range by an officer with a less lethal shotgun. So did he violate use of force policy? Eyewitness News reporter Amy Powell has more. This incident and the viral video raising questions about the LAPD's use of force during a protest in Koreatown. An LAPD officer seen on video firing a less than lethal round at close range, striking one of the protesters in the stomach. She falls to the ground. This happening after opposing groups of protesters gathered near the intersection of Wilshire and Rampart in Koreatown on Saturday, clashing over transgender access to a spa. According to authorities, protesters started throwing bottles and other projectiles, some of them pelted at officers. An order was issued telling the crowd to disperse. When some refused to leave the area, police used less than lethal force. But a law enforcement expert says he doesn't understand what prompted the use of that weapon. There were some projectiles that were being thrown at the police. They did recover some weaponry and that kind of thing. But in this case, I just didn't see an exigent circumstance for the use of less than lethal by this officer. As far as distance in this case, that's not an issue. He seems to be within the range to use the left lethal uh, shotgun round. So far, the LAPD is not commenting on the use of force, but does say 40 people were arrested most of them for failing to disperse. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.